Good morning everyone, I'm John RMS, otherwise known as Ace Bullion, and today I have a rather interesting coin review for you. Now, as you can see from there, there's gonna be two, but one's gonna be as a comparison, and thank you to the silver trader who sent me these coins in to be reviewed. So please be sure you check out the link down below where you can find a link to the silver trader's website, also Ace Bullion, and of course the precious metal forum, where, well, there's a lot going on. Anyway, just to let you guys know as well, I have plenty of other coins. Here's a sneak preview of some of the ones I will be featuring. Here's some I can't show you because they're actually hidden away inside. And well, they're not yet released. So I can't really show them to anybody yet. So, well, we're gonna find out. So let's have a look here at the Cougar and Bear. Here we go. Okay, so I'm starting off actually showing you, rather than just bring straight in the cougar and bear, the first coin from the uh, Apex Predators, which of course was the lion with the three hyenas. Now, as I said in the review, I wasn't overly impressed, although it wasn't a horrible thing either. Um, there was, and as you can see here, there is, I'm gonna have to kind of dim down these lightings ever so slightly here. Um, a rather interesting um, high gloss that was going on behind it. But here's one of the interesting points. At least you're able to see the animals clearly. Now, that's gonna lead us on to the next part of this coin. And it comes with a lot of thanking of the Silver Trader because both Martin and myself, we occasionally discuss a coin that perhaps we got our hopes up and we got you know very excited about because well i really did want this coin to go through the roof this is the first in a series limited to ten thousand. and yes martin still has some on the silver traders website so you know if you still want one you can grab one but let's pull this one aside for the minute we have here the new 2022 which by the way the previous one on number one was also um, 2022, okay? Um, and for my viewers who like to pick on me for my enunciation or, or pronunciation, uh, the island of Nui, <laughs> uh, Queen Elizabeth II, $1 face value, three, uh, three nines fine, one ounce silver. And yep, this is the Cougar and Bear. Now again, it has a limited mintage of 10,000 and let me start off by saying actually one of the smaller issues that I actually didn't realize and actually Martin pointed this out to me is that if you take a look through some of the stock photos of this coin, uh, so this is where dealers can get an opportunity to see what the coin or series might be like. Well, everything's a bit reversed. So the queen would, um, you know, be gloss and there'd be a background so I, but the queen side i'm not bothered about this this is the side of course they really messed up on again let me compare it to you high gloss in the background you can see the animals clearly and although the animals aren't perfect you can still see them clearly that was on coin number one Coin number two in the series, we have apparently a bear and cougar. Now I'm gonna have to zoom in, try to search and find these critters because, well, this really is not the best coin. In fact, the high relief gloss mirrored finish, whatever you wanna call it, and the matting are actually reversed. They should be completely the other way around. Instead, nope, this is how it is. I think if they would have done it the other way, perhaps, well, <laughs> perhaps the coin might be better. <laughs> Again, 
I can't use the words that the Silver Trader has actually said. Um, and uh, all he put on his website, by the way, is not the best coin, okay? So it's from Nine Fine Mint. You get the idea. Anyway, let's see here. So let's zoom in and find out. Right, there we go. Now I can clearly see the bear and the bear looks, well, rather awesome. Um, don't know what the heck this part is around the bear. I'm perhaps thinking this might be the tail. I can see the bear's claws here and here. Although this one does look a bit sideways. I don't really know how to put it. It's really bizarre. Uh, the bear's face is amazing. It is really spectacular and it does suit the bear. And then if we kind of move it around, trying to find, I am struggling with the best lighting for this. And honestly, I keep going through multiple functions to see which one might be the best. It's like a bluey tinge. I, I really, I can't find it as, I, as an ideal way to put it really, but yeah. Um, Cause I really want to showcase it and to let you see it, but it's super, super hard. So there is up close, okay? That is all the detail that you're gonna get off of this cougar. And I'm not trying to hide it. You can actually see where the light, I'm bouncing the light off. It's as if they haven't carved out. Let me get my, uh, well, let me get a little pencil here. It's as if they haven't carved out around here deep enough to actually get the cougar uh, face to stand out. And to be able to distinguish the cougar, I mean, it looks like they kind of started and then gave up. There's the front paws. And then it looks like suddenly the whole body goes 90 degrees. Um, I just don't know. Um, this is a mess of a coin. Um, in design and execution, I mean, the only saving grace for it is... And I'm, I'm really, you know, going, you know, up here. These coins don't tend to be scratched or showing any kind of milking signs. And I would hope that this would be the bad apple in the series because Apex Predators has a huge potential to be something amazing. Um, this is far too busy, um, I think. Even the artist must have got fed up and just threw some leaves in and some branches in. I mean, let's go back again to at least this. The lion with the three hyenas. I don't think... Well, I mean, look at that. We have the fur on end. We have you know everything here standing up. It is a fight scene. And, you know, there's... You don't need to squint. You don't need to turn the coin sideways. You don't need to look in a really bizarre place. What the heck do you do with this thing? Um, am I being too harsh on this coin? Let me know. Um, I may or may not. I, I am undecided. Do I buy this set? Because it might just be that bad it's good. Um... The fact that there's the lion and, uh, and hyena, which was okay. And then they went absolutely downhill with the bear and cougar. Because, I mean, the cougar, the bear is lovely. The cougar, I don't know what they've done. Because they can do cats. You can see that there. They can do cats very well. So, let me know what your thoughts and opinions are. I've tried to show this as close as possible. And... <laughs> Apparently, I'm just going to throw it across the room. Well, on my table, really. I tried to show it as close as possible and to really let you see what it might be like. I mean, the bear is cool. The cougar is not. And I have a whole yin-yang love, and this is not a yin-yang at all. Uh, it may be trying to be, but it certainly isn't. So, 
yeah, let me know. What should I do? Uh, and tell me, are you collecting this series? And what are your thoughts and opinion? Um, yeah, this is from Nine Fine Mint. Um, so, yeah, I'd really love to hear it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great Monday wherever you are. Stay tuned. You can see I got a lot more bullion there. And if you are after a box or all sorts of stuff, check out the Precious Metal Forum uh, where you can get all those details. Anyway, have a great day. Bye for now.